Good morning all. Myself Dr. R. Renuga Devi, Associate Professor EC Department in PSR Engineering College. I am going to take Thevenin's theorem in network theory. So, if the network is very large, it is difficult to calculate voltage and current. Using mesh analysis, we can feel the calculation difficult, we can feel the calculation difficult, ok. So, to avoid that, we are using Thevenin's theorem and at Norton's theorem. In case of Thevenin's theorem, the theorem statement is any linear active network can be replaced by a voltage source that is a open circuit voltage source with serious resistance, ok. So, any linear, linear in the sense, if it is satisfies the voltage current relations, if we proportionalize, then the circuit is known as linear active network, ok. So, the sources, if the source are energy sources, then the network is known as active network, ok. So, any linear active network, whatever may be the network can be entirely replaced by a open circuit voltage source that is a V Thevenian with serious resistance R Thevenian, ok. So, now the calculation of open circuit voltage source that is V Thevenian, we have to follow the steps. First, we have to remove the load terminal, ok. So, remove the load terminal, then calculate V TH. Then second thing is calculation of Thevenian resistance, ok. So, for calculation of Thevenian resistance, we have to kill the sources. So, kill the energy sources in the sense, if it is voltage source, we have to shortening the circuit. If it is current sources, ok. If it is voltage source, we have to short the circuit. If it is current source, ok. Then we have to remove the terminal. This is open circuit, ok. The kill the sources meaning, if it is voltage source, then shortening the terminal. If it is current source, remove the terminal, ok. So, we have to kill the sources, then calculate the equivalent resistance that is known as R Thevenian. Finally, we are going to calculate the load current, ok. So, load current in the sense using the calculation, so that is a open circuit entire voltage that is a V Thevenian plus sum of serious resistance, ok. For calculation of I L, then we have to draw the circuit that is V Thevenian, R Thevenian plus the load terminal as R L, ok. So, for this circuit, we are going to calculate load current that is I, ok. So, I is as V by R according to Ohm's law, V by R that is a V Thevenian divided by that is R is here R equivalent. The two resistance are connected in series. So, we have to calculate R T H that is R 1 plus R 2. So, R T H plus R L, ok. So, now we are clear about the calculation of V T H and calculation of R T H, ok. Whatever may be the network, we have to replace voltage terminal with series resistance that is a Thevenian theorem, ok. Open circuit voltage source with series resistance. For taking one example, here just consider it is a two loop circuit, ok. So, in a closed path is known as loop, ok. So, now I am going to calculate current across 10 ohm resistance. Now, I am considering this 10 ohm resistance as load resistance that is R L. I am going to calculate the load current using Thevenin's theorem, ok. So, first we have to follow the steps. Step 1 is we have to calculate the open circuit voltage source V Thevenin. For this, we have to remove the load terminal. So, our load terminal is this 10 ohm resistance, we have to remove the load terminal, ok. So, we have to remove the load terminal, then calculate V T H, ok. If it is open circuit, there is no current flow through this branch, ok. Here the, the current value is 0 due to the open circuit, ok. So, now I am going to calculate current for this loop is I is equal to V by R. Here the voltage difference is 12 minus 10 volt, ok, divided by sum of the loop resistance is 6 plus 4 ohm that is a 10 ohm, ok. So, I is equal to 
voltage difference divided by equivalent resistance that is a 0.2 voltage ok. So, that is a I across this loop as 0.2 voltage. So, listen all one is calculation of BTH for parallel network ok for parallel circuit voltages are same ok for calculation of BTH the VTH is equivalent to VAB that VAB is equivalent to branch voltage across this entire branch ok. So, calculation of voltage across this branch is equivalent to VTH. So, I am going to calculate voltage across this branch current is 0 0.2 voltage into 6 ohm resistance ok. One is that is a V is equal to here for this voltage across 6 ohm resistance is equal to 0 0.2 voltage into 6. So, 2 ampere 0 0.2 ampere into 6 voltage that is 1.2 voltage ok. So, voltage across this branch is 1.2 voltage we are connecting another one more voltage sources that is 12 voltage. Therefore, potential difference that is a VAB is equivalent to 12 minus 1.2 voltage. So, we are getting a open circuit voltage is 10.8 volt ok. So, after this one part is over then second part is calculation of RTH ok. So, for calculation of RTH the step 1 is kill the sources kill the energy sources ok. So, here I am having the one voltage source we have to shortening the terminal another one more source is 12 voltage source again it is a voltage source we have to short ok. So, just making the short we are get now we are going to calculate R equivalent. Ok. So, R equivalent is equal to just see the circuit both resistance are connected in parallel. So, parallel formula is R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 ok for R equivalent. So, RTH is equal to 6 into 4 divided by 6 plus 4 that is we are getting the answer as 2.4 ohm open circuit that is a Thevenin's resistance as 2.4. Now, we are going to calculate the load resistance that is the according to the formula VTH divided by RTH plus RL ok. So, we are calculating RTH is a 2.4 ohm then RL is load resistance you see the question the RL is 10 ohm resistance ok. So, just apply the values we are getting the load current as 0 0.871 ampere ok. So, whatever may be the network just replace by a open circuit calculate VTH kill the sources and calculate RTH ok apply the formula and calculate the load current value ok. So, total current is IL is equal to 0 0.871 ampere ok. So, clear for all thank you.